Now, of course, there's a lot of vigor in a lot of yoga classes. There's hot yoga, there's power yoga. I mean, uh, my style of yoga, Kundalini yoga, is viewed as a vigorous style, and we're doing breath of fire and a lot of these, uh, you know, tough exercises. But, you know, ultimately, the goal there is also to ultimately generate the ability to self-regulate, because when you, when you exert yourself in, in yoga practice, after you're finished exerting yourself, you then go into a deeper relaxation state than you were before you started. This is a sort of a tension release phenomenon. So if you really tense your fists really, really, really tight and hold them that way and then release them, they're gonna be more relaxed than before you did that tension exercise. If you jog around the block, jogging around the block is a very intensive activity. When you stop and relax, you are more relaxed than before you started jogging. So this is the tension release phenomenon that takes place in yoga as well. And the other thing you're doing with that is you're changing, you're expanding the dynamic range of your ability to self-regulate your internal state. You're going from very intense activity to extremely deep and profound meditative activity. And that increases your ability to self-regulate your, your state. And self-regulation is very important because we're constantly bombarded uh, by our environment, by our lives, by society, by the world, by our challenges. And we need to respond to those. And sometimes we need a vigorous response and sometimes we need just a chill response. And so um, that's what yoga is all about. It's about increasing our ability to self-regulate our internal state, both mental and physical and adapt as we need to uh, and perform well as we need to, despite the challenges that we might be facing.